Hey guys, a good shepherd sometimes breaks the legs of the sheep. Got a minute? We know that the good shepherd will leave the 99 to go after the one, but what we don't realize is what happens after he gets the one. The first thing the shepherd does is breaks its legs. The shepherd then takes that sheep, that broken leg sheep, and puts him over his head. And so he is wrapped around him kind of like a big sheep scarf. And he takes this sheep back to the flock. And all the while he's talking to the sheep, letting the sheep hear his voice. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. Making the sheep lie down in green pastures, the only way to do that is if it can't stand, giving rest. But all the while, everywhere that the sheep goes, he hears the shepherd's voice and understanding that that's the one that's providing for him or her. We can have girl sheeps. And by the time that the sheep's legs are able to be walked on, everything has changed. That sheep knows the shepherd's voice and it won't follow any other. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. And it's because they've learned to trust that voice. If that sheep wouldn't have had its legs broke as soon as it got back to the flock and it saw another way, it would run away again. I firmly believe that we, there are seasons where God handicaps us in order to rely on him more. So guys, embrace the Lord, embrace the shepherd. No matter if you're still trying to run away, we'll embrace him now. If you are feel like you've been immobilized and that you're just having to fully rely on him, rely on him. Lean in. He's got such awesome things for you. Thanks for spending a minute.